Now, Billy and her husband started going back and forth with the whole issue that was going on on social media. What do we do? We start to analyze. Coral Billy started spilling out fire. Things that you will hear about your son that will send you to Kuma. So what did I do? And my fans on this platform, we decided to go look for evidence. And we got beyond and enough. To counter all those words she was saying. The lies were just too much. She didn't stop there. She had to write a book about it. She didn't stop there. She keep on opening herself like a two center shower on live video. Misbehaving to the call, which everybody was seeing. But taking advantage of, oh, a single mom that is taking care of her children, a mom alone. Oh, I'm frankly trying to carry myself, trying to walk her way through sympathy into the life of people. But at the same time, lying. And that keeps us going, like, we have to counter this lie. One of the biggest lies she was telling again and again to manipulate the heart of the people. She keep on saying she was thrown out of her home four days after she gave birth. Why evidence prove that six days her husband was still with her then. Then husband was with her. Seven days he was still there. It was around the tenth day. So why traumatizing people saying it was four days when she was bleeding, she was sent out of her house. These are endless lies mm -hmm. she put out there. But she wasn't having it with Lolo's Lolo talk show. Her sister report my page. As you all know, my page was demonetized because we were there deliberating on the issue, talking about it. That is how you do talk show. You don't just come out and lie, fabricate words. You discuss about it. You put down evidence. You allow the people who are watching to air their opinion because they are not in book camp. And that was what we were doing here. But Cora Obidi was not having it. She had to go through a solicitor. After she and her fans have bullied me with that, in fact, I didn't even want to hear it. The bully was endless. But I really don't care. Because I don't have business with all those minions you call the fans, all those baboos, all those daft elements you call the fans. I don't have business with any of them. But they keep on screaming my name endlessly. Endlessly. She sent me a solicitor paper just to satisfy them or to satisfy herself. I really don't know. So the solicitor paper started just before Christmas. This is another full page they brought for me. How many is this one? This one is more than, I don't know, you know. The solicitor paper started just before Christmas. I don't know what was the intention like to start in my Christmas. Of course, it didn't work. You all know that. So after Christmas, I took my time and I replied the first one. Thanks to all of you who supported and do. Now, when I came out with the first one, I was thinking, okay, let us let it slide. But again, my amazing fans, the Truth Teller Squad, that we all sat down here. Never for a day did we lie against Cora Obidi. We never lied on her. We air our opinion and what we see. We bring out the lies and the, what she said before, what she's saying now. We put them together on the table. Her sister came and let us know that she has some issues. She's dealing with some mental issues. It's her sister that gave us the tip and we work with it. Say, Asuka, thank you so much. No, my, she enjoys the other ones because they applaud her doings. But you see me, she don't enjoy my videos because they are too real. They are bringing the real tutorials out. They are laying the real liar on the table. Do you understand? So mine is not giving her any space. And you guys coming here to call in and air your opinion, she's not having it. She don't want that. That's what she don't want. So before she can get you people all to be silent, they have to silent the platform that give them that right. And when they are able to do it with me, they want to scare every other person not to do it. So our minions will be like, anybody talk again. You see what they did to Lolo? That is what they will do to you. Oh, I'm not having it. 
I am not having a total use. No, I'm not going to have it. I won't have it. If it costs my human hair to be sell for half a price, you can come get one for yourself. That lawyer fee will be paid. Do you understand? I'm not having it. I am not having it. I, me, the angel God sent to me freed a lot of people today to be able to do live video freely. Before, who are you? You want to do live video when Lola is there, when uh, Babu is there. Are you, are, you, are you kidding me? People don't dare to do live video. It was the angel God sent to me that free a lot of people, that liberate a lot of people today, that you see all of them on live video. So I will liberate others too. I will. You cannot shut people from talking on cyberspace just because you want to prove that, oh, we have chased Lolo. We will get to the courts and the court will tell me and you will provide the evidence of me ever contacting you or saying what was not said on social media about you before. Your fans might be stupid, but we are not. And I'm sure if your lawyer gets to see me, he will know that I'm not your type. So that was how the case started. They brought me the first letter. At the time, I wanted to like, oh, my fans were like, why would you do that? I thought about it again. I was like, that's true. That's, it's not done. Like, shut up. Don't talk about me again. Who the hell are you? As long as you operate on a public space, I have every right to talk about you. Remember, Apostle Suleiman, he sued a blogger and he lose. Remember that always. He lose. Cardi B is suing somebody who lied, who could not prove what she say about her. But remember, Apostle Suleiman, you don't have money. You come to social media, you beg, you wear second hand clothes, but you have money to pay for lawyer to, to drag Lolo. I don't know if people donating the money for you anyway, which I'm not really interested in, but don't worry, we will get there. Okay? So they reply me and I reply them first round. They reply me second and I reply them second round. And this is their third round. And now they are demanding that I pay to to use a sum of money. And I should sign that I will never, ever. <laughs> that if it's the money, trust me, I will give her the money. Even without asking anybody to donate. The amount of money they are asking is not that much. Okay? But you see, for this nonsense that is here, no. Me, Lolo, I won't. if she asks me, give me that money, I will just give it to them, give her the money. But you see this condition. You see this condition? Toto Yos, you can roll this paper. Hmm? Roll it like this. Put it in that your anus. Eh? Or put it in Mr. O. Anus. And use it and suck the remainder that you left there and no fear. Do you hear me? Use it and suck Mr. O. Bomb bomb like you did. They said I should sign, undertake that I, Lolo, the international truth seller, should sign that I will never, ever talk about her. A That I will never, ever talk about Toto Yose again. I will not contact her in any way again. Hello. <laughs> I should not attempt to contact phone call, email, this, that, Another through another person, I should not attempt by any means whatsoever, individual whom she knows or suspect to be friends with. <laughs> so, 
so before we say hello to you i will ask you mother are you totoyo's fans are you totoyo's friend so i will ask you first that is what they are saying no? individual who suspect to be friend slash family acquaintance <laughs> or colleague i should not contact go close to them or talk to them eh? otherwise emerge in any activity that amounts to the harassment if like somebody is doing video now they are talking about Toto use if i go there to air my opinion they will come back from it 